there's either a snake or a turtle that's poking his head up at the end of this dock. Not sure how this is going to play out. Hey guys, welcome back once again to Ernest Cole Fishing. I am, as always, the Bass Man Ernest Cole. And as you can see, we're loaded up, ready to go. And the goal for today is not to burst into flames because it is hot out here today. It is middle of summer, August. Whew, it's hot. We're going to try to catch you some fish today, so uh, stick with me. We'll take him. Top of the mouth. <laughs> we'll take him. Alright, we got us another one there, boys and girls. Big fast train today. But you got a small bait, you're subject to catch a few small fish. And even if you throw them back, you're subject to catch them again. Well, well done. Oh,
juicy, juicy fish today. Not weighing these today, I should have, but got a bunch of dinks early off, and it's probably number three on the keeper scale today. That's, you know, a couple pounds, you know, I can't complain, but uh, hey, that's a nice, nice fish. That's that only old uh, Zoom old monster. You can't bait it for summertime. Swallowed a hook on that one, folks. He got it deep, deep, deep. Let's get the old pliers. Uh oh, come here, buddy. I'm gonna let you go. Don't worry. Come on, we're gonna let you go here just one second. All right. He just clobbered it. I had a couple of more a second ago clobbered. I just couldn't get the hook up. Changed hooks. It's kind of helped out a little bit. That's a little bitty old dinker. I don't even think he's a keeper size, but hey, he's fun nonetheless. Let him go. All right, everybody. I appreciate y'all sticking with me this long. If you're still watching, thank you so much. And uh, let me run through what all I caught him on today. Uh, as you guys can see on that last fish, I was here uh, in the fishing up now. They set of docks here. And I caught them on a, uh, this is a Nico rig. This is a yum dinger. Got a little bit of 16th ounce weight in the end of it with a wacky rig hook in the middle. Some guys use a Nico rig hook and some use a wacky. This is a weedless wacky, uh, which I really like. I was using a different style hook earlier, one that had like a, a metal uh, weed guard that just kind of clipped underneath. It. This one's got kind of a plastic one that'll kind of bend down and I was able to hook up those fish. I've had trouble here lately fishing a Nico rig. Uh, for whatever reason, I can catch them on a wacky rig, but for uh, for whatever reason, I've been having a lot of trouble actually hooking the fish on a Nico rig. I've been getting tons of bites here lately, but I'm not real sure what was going on, but switched hooks, switched the setup, and that worked out a lot better. Uh, some of the bigger fish you guys saw me catch today was on the old tried and true we'll have a pack of them here but this is the zoom old monster it's just a summertime staple staple where i uh, live here uh, on the tennessee river i caught them deep i have caught them shallow it's just uh, you know in the summertime you either got to go really big or really small and on the big side this is what we caught them on this is um Plum apple, I believe, is what this color. It may not show up real good. I'm kind of got some shadows going on here. And I had that paired on a half ounce Beast Coast tungsten weight. Uh, and this is a five volt Berkeley Fusion hook. And a favorite rod. Good setup for deep, uh, just dragging those worms across those deep humps and everything and the last thing which I don't have my setup here I lost the uh, the last rigging that I had uh, picked these up yesterday at my local tackle store second amendment um, this is a zoom four inch dead ringer and pumpkin shark shrimps of a green pumpkin body chartreuse tail guys this is kind of a a sleeper bait in the summertime or any time that the fishing is tough uh it's not fished a whole lot you don't hear a whole lot about it but uh, uh you know there are other things that are called uh dead ringer just any type of ribbed worm four inch with a little sea tail on it you know I'm kind of older than uh, a lot of guys, and uh, this is kind of an old school lure that really, uh, really comes into its own when the fishing gets tough. 
This is kind of a precursor to the Ned rig and precursor to shaky heads and, and drop shots, all those finesse techniques. You know, when I was a kid, you got your dead ringer when the fishing got tough. So I had that paired on an eighth ounce weight with a um, one alt Berkeley Fusion hook. You guys saw me catch a few fish on it today. Um, but I lost the last eighth ounce weight I had today. You can fish these all kind of ways. You can put them on a drop shot. You can put them on a shaky head and they're really good. Um, just any kind of finesse technique in summertime if you're looking for something kind of a uh, a sleeper bait that not a lot of guys are throwing uh, check out that four inch dead ringer uh, from zoom i got that in my local tackle store like i said yesterday I, I had just thought about it the other day that you know what did i used to fish uh to catch fish because here lately the fishing has been extremely tough everybody i've talked to just caught some dinks nobody's really pounding them killing them of course you're always going to have those few guys that you know, fish two or three days a week and, and just know what the fish are doing. But uh, for the average guy that fishes on the weekend uh, and don't get out much, you know, you got to you gotta work with what you got. So that's what I do. I kind of go back to my old school techniques when it gets really tough. But uh, thank you guys for watching. If you've uh, stuck around this long, I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you will, guys, hit that subscribe button if you've not already. Don't really know what the title of this video is going to be yet. I'll, I'll kind of throw something up there like you know go big or go small for summertime fish i, I kind of went on both ends of the spectrum today uh i finessed down with that dead ringer and then I power through with that big uh kind of a ledge bait that big uh, old monster so uh you know and i did catch some on, on a hump out there as you guys saw earlier but uh thank you guys for watching all right the snake or the turtle or whatever it was is gone so uh crisis averted for the moment i gotta back out of this little slip here and hopefully it's going to work out for me but Again, thank you guys for watching. I will stop rambling now. I tend to do that. I do apologize for that. But uh, as always, hit that subscribe button. If you've not, like, comment below how have you guys been doing with your fishing adventures. So uh, I'm going to get out of here. Everybody is starting to wake up. I see a lot of ski boats and a lot of pontoons. So it's going to get rough out here. And that's generally when I say see you guys next week. But, uh, you know, uh, that's just how it goes. But you guys know who I am. I'm the Bassman Ernest Cole. We'll see you guys down the road.